align the two H10 parts. Insert H10 into the corresponding hole on I12. Insert D14 into the corresponding hole on the H10 component. Slide D19 and D18 along the H10 component until they are fully inserted. Then push inward gently. Ensure that the longer end of the part faces inward. Spare parts for D18 and D19 are available on the spare parts board. If parts are damaged, replacements can be made. Insert F19 into the corresponding hole on G10. Pay attention to the notch direction of F19. Insert the G10 component into its corresponding position on H10. After insertion, push up gently. Ensure G10 is secured in H10. Insert I11 into the H10 component. Insert F20 into I11. Then insert F20 into the corresponding hole on the G10 component. Pay attention to the notch direction of F20. Insert 10 E18 parts into the slots on F19 and F20. Spare parts for E18 are available on the spare parts board. If parts are damaged, replacements can be made. Moisten both sides of B5 with your hands first. After 20 seconds, bend the part. Roll up B5 and insert it into two G15 and two G22 parts. Spare parts for G22 and G15 are available on the spare parts board. Spare parts for B5 are available on the C board. If parts are damaged, replacements can be made. Note, moisten both sides of all bending parts with your hands before bending. After 20 seconds, bend the part.
Moisten both sides of B18 with your hands first. After 20 seconds, bend the part. Roll up B18 and insert it into three G22 parts. Spare parts for B18 are available on the seaboard. If parts are damaged, replacements can be made. Insert G11 into the corresponding position on the B18 assembly. G11 should face outward with the pattern visible. Moisten both sides of C21 with your hands first. After 20 seconds, bend the part. Adjust the H10 component in the same direction as shown in the video. When installing, ensure that the C21 connection point is facing upwards. Roll up C21 and insert it into the H10 component. Spare parts for C21 are available on the seaboard. If parts are damaged, replacements can be made. Insert the B5 assembly into the barrel section of the H10 component. The B5 assembly must be fully inserted. The bending interface of B5 should be in the same direction as the bending interface of C21. Insert 2B3 parts into the corresponding positions on the H10 component. Insert I5 into the corresponding slot on the H10 component. Insert 2B2 parts into the corresponding positions on the H10 component. B2 should face outward with the pattern visible. Insert G3 into the corresponding slot on the H10 component. Spare parts for G3 are available on the spare parts board. If parts are damaged, replacements can be made. Insert the B18 assembly into the barrel section of the H10 component. The bending interface of B18 should be in the same direction as the bending interface of C21. Align the two components and assemble them together. The components must be fully inserted. Ensure that the holes on the inserted interface are fully aligned with those shown in the video. Insert H7 into the corresponding position on the assembly. Insert D5 into the corresponding position on the assembly.